Well, it's 2023, which means it's time to talk about upcoming Christian movies and TV shows this year. Now, if you're like me, you love expressing your faith through the content that you watch on a daily basis. And what better way than by asking what's coming out this year? And for those of you asking that question, I have some good news. And that is that we have an exciting lineup of movies and TV shows coming out this year. So without any further ado, let's dive in and get started. <laughs> Now, arguably, the biggest project of the year is going to be The Chosen Season 3. I have chosen you 12 as my apostles. Don't feel any different? I don't need you to feel anything to do great things. Now, this is distributed by Angel Studios, which is technically a Mormon-run company, which I don't classify as the same thing as Christian, although the TV show is made by an evangelical Christian. I just recommend exercising discernment when watching any content that's distributed by anyone outside of the Christian movement. So in this season three, we get a continuation of many of the storylines in the prior TV show, including Jesus Christ picking his final disciple, Judas Iscariot, and sending his disciples out to perform signs and wonders and miracles on him his behalf. We also get a big moment where Jesus finally confesses that he is the Messiah to which a crowd basically loses it and tries to kill him. We're curious to see what happens in the later episodes that are still yet unreleased. One of the other Angel Studios TV shows is Wing Feather Saga. which is a fantasy TV show based on the successful book series where a group of children are launched into a journey to save a girl who's kidnapped by these evil creatures called Fangs. This is a very artistic Lord of the Rings-esque kind of world. We have three more episodes coming out and so far the content has been very, very interesting. We also have the upcoming David movie. <laughs> one which is not going to see a 2023 release. They're still pretty early in development, but we should get some further updates this year on what we can expect as far as some trailers and some other content on that. Now, as far as some upcoming movies, in January 26th, we have Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist. Was it the rapture? Yes. Yes, it was. Are you sure? I mean, are, are you, you really sure? I saw it. Happen. This is the latest installment of the Left Behind franchise, kind of a remake slash sequel to the 2014 reboot with Nicolas Cage. This one is done by Kevin Sorbo, and it's kind of curious to see what approach they take with this one in a franchise that's really struggled the last couple years. Inside of this latest movie, we get Buck Williams investigating the global ID platform called Eat and Pay, and we also follow along the Antichrist's rise to power. At this point, it, it's hard to say. I don't expect this movie to be phenomenal. Left Behind has had three reboots at this point if you include the Vanished movie. So it's kind of struggling to gain its footing. But I'm definitely going to watch this one and keep you guys posted on what my thoughts are on it. Next up we have Jesus Revolution. When God walks in here, brings me a hippie. I'll ask him what it's all about. Because I do not understand. His house has a very good vibe. This is a film by the Irwin Brothers following the Jesus Movement revival of the 1970s in California, which resulted in the Calvary Chapel movement and really was kind of a predecessor of a lot of modern Christian theology, especially in the Protestant movement. Many people are based out of this movement, and so it's very exciting to see a movie talking about the history of one of the most notable movements in Christian history. Next up, we get a film I don't know that a lot of people were actually asking for. It's yet another, a fifth installment of the God's Not Dead franchise. Yes, you heard that right. There's yet another God's Not Dead movie. The highly controversial and highly criticized movie series is adding yet another movie. This one is called God's Not Dead Rise Up, and the topic is going to be on the issue of modern American politics. Yeah, could it get more controversial than that? So the main character in the movie, Reverend Dave, is actually running for Congress. In a movie series that's already highly controversial, they're picking one of the hardest to handle topics that you possibly could make a movie on. I am not really excited about this one. I will watch it, but I I know this one's going to be picked apart by critics and it's going to be very difficult to do a film like this right regardless of how you do it. Next up we have Vindication Season 3. You know what? I've got a better story for you. Vindication Season 3 is coming to town. That's right, we start production in 2022 and we wanted you, the fans, to be the first to know because after all, 
you made it happen. Another release by Pure Flix, the third season of probably Pure Flix's best TV show to date. This is a continuation of the successful crime series and continues a lot of the elements from season two, including following up on the murder towards the end of season two and bringing a resolution to some of the elements from that season. Now, for those of you who like crime TV shows and especially crime TV shows with a kind of hopeful undertone, this is probably going to be the TV show for you. Also from Pure Flix, we get for the first time a Revelation Road TV show coming out on April 1st. Adios, amigo. to be a TV show following along with some of the events from the Revelation Road trilogy, which happens after the rapture when the world descends into chaos and roving motorcycle bands and crime lords take over the world. A traveling salesman named Josh McManus ends up tangling with the wrong group of people, resulting in what we now know as Revelation Road. It'll be curious to see how this is handled. The movies were kind of hit or miss, widely criticized, but from what I've seen from some shots so far, it looks cinematically pretty good. It's just hard to tell if it's all going to be there as far as storytelling. Next up we get a film that we actually talked about in the past that's been pushed back once or twice but appears to be slated for an April 5 release which is On a Wing and a Prayer. This is a movie starring Dennis Quad featuring the events of a pilot dying while flying a plane and a passenger having to take control to successfully land the plane to save the lives of those on board. In a lot of ways it kind of feels like a better retelling of the 2014 Left Behind reboot. No trailer or anything yet but we'll see once we get an actual trailer release. Coming out in September 22, we have The Blind, which is actually a very interesting looking film as it's a biopic of the early life of successful TV star Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty. Yeah, that movie they're coming out with in a few few months, be a few months of but I met the actors who were playing me, Miss Kata. This movie addresses his early life and some of his struggles such as addictions and family issues and his ultimate redemption through his faith in Jesus Christ. This is actually going to be produced partially by Willie and Corey Robertson. It's going to be actually, I think, pretty exciting. I'm a big Robertson fan. I really enjoyed the Duck Dynasty TV show and just look up to the individuals in a lot of ways for their stance on cultural issues. So I'm excited to see this film and we'll keep you guys posted when we get more content on this upcoming movie. Also, we get an upcoming movie called Disciples in the Moonlight. You can't contain the word of God. This is a film set in a future America where the Bible becomes illegal and follows a story of these seven Christians who smuggle these Bibles to these underground American churches. This is directed by the well-established Christian film figure Brett Varvel. From what I've seen so far, I can't say I'm super excited about the storytelling. It looks pretty good cinematically, but it's, it's hard to say because Christians have kind of struggled dealing with apocalyptic material of sorts. So I hope this turns out phenomenal. We just need to see a trailer and then we can go on from that point. Next up, we get the film His Only Son, which was actually shot and produced several years ago and was recently picked up by Angel Studios. The Lord came to me last night. What? He says we are to go to Mariah, you and I, and make a sacrifice to him there. This film follows the events of Abraham climbing Mount Moriah in an attempt to sacrifice his own son, so it's bound to be a gut-wrenching and highly emotional film. So once we get a trailer, I'll actually be able to give you guys some of my thoughts on what to expect from this film. And now for a film that a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a long time, that's been rumored for years and years and years, finally has been confirmed for a sequel, which is Passion of the Christ, The Resurrection. Is it coming soon? Yeah, sooner now. Because it, what I had to, it, it is such a massive uh, undertaking um, that you can't do it lightly and you can't do it quickly. You have to really consider what it is that you need to show. Yes, it's finally been confirmed that the sequel to the highly successful Passion of the Christ film is going to be going into production this year with Mel Gibson directing Jim Caviezel starring as Jesus. This film is going to follow the three days after Jesus' death leading up to his resurrection is likely going to be dealing with elements such as hell, demons, and Jesus' ultimate conquering of death. So it's going to take, I would imagine, a lot of creativity 
creative expression to actually make this film become a reality. So I'm very curious to see how Mel Gibson handles a topic like this. I'm highly excited. It's absolutely amazing emotional storytelling. Considering the original movie is still to this day the highest grossing Christian movie of all time, I'm sure there are a lot of you who are going to be very excited to see this film. Likely not going to get a release this year, but we should get a trailer and some other materials. Now, as far as some materials that are kind of upcoming, but we don't know exactly when are likely not going to come out this year, we do have The Sound of Freedom, which is a movie starring Jim Caviezel, who is an agent investigating sex trafficking. It's going to be likely a, a very emotional, powerful film. This film has actually been completed from what I know, but I guess they're struggling to find a distributor. And so I don't know that we're actually going to see a release of this film this year. It's hard to say. Another film is The Unbreakable Boy, starring the Hollywood star Zachary Levi, and follows the struggles of a family in taking care of an autistic boy with a brittle bone disease. Also, this one is kind of a fun one to talk about. It's very distant on the horizon. And this is potentially a Netflix Chronicles of Narnia movie. Now, from what I've seen, Netflix is actually actually acquire the rights to make all books into movies. So it's going to be very interesting seeing in the future what they choose to do with those rights and actually making some fantasy movies. They're likely going to have virtually no actual explicit Christian material, kind of like when Disney made the movies. But knowing the original writings and C.S. Lewis being the person behind them, it's going to be very interesting seeing if these actually are rebooted as a movie series. I don't see anything definite on these yet. We could be seeing these potentially well well into the future, but it'll be exciting to see if there's actually some information leaked on this this year. So with that, that's my list of upcoming movies this year. I'd love to hear which of these movies you guys were most excited about. It's going to be a good year, I think. Looking at this list, I'd say there's going to be some good content to watch. I wish there were more Christian action movies. I say that every year. We do get a couple from Pure Flix, which I'm kind of iffy on, but hey, we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have an awesome day. As a Christ follower, I've made the resolution to take every opportunity possible to share my faith with the world. If you've never given your life to Christ, I'd love to share with you how Christ has transformed the man that I've become. I've attached my email onto this video where you can shoot me a quick email and I'd love to have that conversation. Or if you're a Christian struggling with your faith or just looking for ways to grow closer to God, I'd love to have that conversation with you. With that, you guys have an awesome day. God bless.